Hey guys, welcome to Pagan's Pathway. So today I am recording here in the studio. Um, you can't really see a lot of it, but it's at my university. And I want to talk to you guys about Beltane, because it's coming up. Um, it's either May 1st for um, some sects of paganism, but in other ones they start April 30th. Um, in Lethia, the faith that I follow, uh, we start at sundown April 30th, and we end at sundown on May 1st. So you just, you know, have a good whole day of celebration. Now, how about different ways you can celebrate Beltane? Um, first, you can celebrate with friends and family. Have a potluck. Uh, bring different dishes. Assign um, an entree to one person, a side item to a few other people. Bring desserts. Enjoy yourself. It's a time of celebrating fertility, the love of the god and goddess, um, beautiful energies, uh, just springtime in general, the sun's coming up, the god is beautiful, the goddess is beautiful. Just celebrate your time together. Now, if you're solitary, that doesn't mean you can't have a feast. I mean, make yourself an amazing dinner. Sit down in front of your altar, enjoy your meal, and commune with the god and goddess, with your ancestors if you follow that, or any other entity that you really enjoy. There's no reason not to. Now, different other ways you can celebrate it, if you are having a, form, uh, a formal gathering, or I guess an informal gathering, um, is the maypole. Now, the maypole is really cool. You erect a pole, okay, and then at the top of the pole, you tie ribbons, and you can um, use streamers nowadays, because they're really inexpensive, and you just attach them up, you know, some scotch tape, and then each person takes a different um, ribbon, and every other person's facing a different way. So... Johnny will face this way, and then Sally will face this way, and then it goes every other person like that. And so what happens is you'll bob and weave in and out of one another, and it wraps around the pole, and it decorates the pole. And then you tape it off at the bottom, and then you have a decorated pole. And it's also really fun because people are pouncing back and forth, and it's really exciting, really good way just to get people energized and excited. Now, as far as religious things you could do, if you are a pagan um, following this calendar, this, this form of faith that celebrates Beltane, um, I really like to get people involved in celebrations. And even if they're not um, a part of this faith, they can, they can participate if they feel comfortable with it. Um, I like to put a prayer request on the altar, if I have an altar out, which I usually do, and decorate it with flowers, decorate it with uh, springtime things, loving things, um, things that represent fertility and love and have your god and goddess candles if you want to. Anything that's pretty, <laughs> that's what I put on my, my Beltane altar. I also like um, silky fabric, so you can do poly silk. It's pretty inexpensive. Um, you can get it at a hobby shop or a fabric store. And just I get a gold one just because it brings out a lot of different colors. And it, it looks really nice on an altar. But um, the prayer request thing, what you do is you take little slips of paper, like little squares, and then just stick them on your altar, and then next to it have a basket with a pen. And so instruct the people when they come that they are more than welcome to write a request for prayer. Or if they have something to be thankful for, go ahead and put that in there also, because giving thanks is another type of prayer. So what they do is they will do this um, activity on their own time throughout the whole um, festivities, when they're eating, when they're chilling out and just having a good time. Um, and then at the end, if you feel comfortable doing this, you can take them and the people who would like to pray together can stay and then you could have a group prayer and then just call to the god and goddess and then read the prayer and just send great energy to to that situation. Since these are anonymous, it does help that factor. So if someone is not comfortable saying that they have something to pray for and they don't want to say their name, that's okay because it's, it's anonymous. But at the same time, I completely understand if you would just like to keep the prayer request and then pray for them on your own time or maybe on a family prayer time if you have one. And so it's just a good way to let your friends know that you're always there for them, that you're not um, just a physical friend, you're also a spiritual friend. And I've found that a lot of people love that because it just spreads love. And that's what Beltane's really about, is spreading love, spreading passion, to your friends, to your families, your lovers. Um, hopefully you only have one lover. But, <laughs> you know. Uh, 
Anyways, so yeah, that's that's Beltane. That's how I like to celebrate it, is just getting friends and family together and celebrating new life, new love, passion. So I hope you enjoyed this. This is Pagan's Pathway. Follow me on Twitter, at Pagan's Pathway, my blog, paganspathway.wordpress.com. And subscribe, guys. If you subscribe, then you can put video responses to my videos, and I'll know more topics to talk about. So if you have a topic, please message me and let me know. I would love to uh, give you what you want. So, bye. Have a great day.